along parts of the southern border. The Biden administration is now clearing the way for construction of new sections of wall. And as pressure there is growing. Overnight, the administration also saying it will resume deporting Venezuelan migrants. Just weeks after granting temporary protected status for those who traveled to the U.S. before August, the White House now saying they'll remove Venezuelans who arrived illegally after that date. Venezuelans currently the most common nationality of migrants trying to cross the border, where illegal crossings are on the rise. The Biden administration now waiving more than two dozen federal laws to allow Homeland Security to install about 20 miles of new physical barrier between Mexico and Stark County in Texas's Rio Grande Valley. President Biden arguing his hands are tied because Congress greenlit the project during the Trump era. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. Do you believe the border wall works? No. It's a major reversal for Mr. Biden, who is a candidate, had this to say. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, among top officials meeting with counterparts in Mexico Thursday, said there's no change to the administration's approach. Border security requires a smarter and more comprehensive approach. But it comes as a recent surge of migrants has put a strain on resources from border communities. We are completely overwhelmed. We're done with the finger pointing and we just want solutions. To states hundreds of miles away, such as New York and Illinois, where Democratic governors have criticized the administration's handling of the migrant influx. Still, advocates like Roberto Lopez with the Texas Civil Rights Project says new walls won't deter people from coming. People are going to find a way to cross. Morgan, what do the latest numbers show on just how many migrants are crossing the border and what officials are expecting going forward now? Yes, Savannah, we've actually seen a bit of a dip since last week when we were approaching record levels. Customs and Border Protection says, though, on Wednesday alone along the entire U.S.-Mexico border, they encountered more than 8,000 people trying to cross illegally. And this past month of September set a high of 2023, more than 200,000 migrants crossing that month alone. That is why some are hopeful that when this barrier is built, it could hopefully drive some of those numbers down, but time will definitely tell. Savannah. All right, Morgan Chesky at the border. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.